Since the Pac-10 became the Pac-12 Conference in 2011, the Cal Golden Bears have never finished better than fourth in the North Division. Last year was Justin Wilcox's first year as head coach at Berkeley, and there were times that you could say, well, maybe Cal's on their way. After all, they did beat the snot out of Washington State back when the Cougars were undefeated and number six in the country. But still, the second half of the season, the Golden Bears fizzled out and finished at five and seven. Winning seasons have been few and far between for Cal this decade, but they may be getting closer than you might think to getting that, a winning season. This year, a favorable schedule plus returning 17 starters, and I'll tell you what, Cal could be optimistic that maybe, just maybe, they can get to a bowl game and make bigger and better things happen in the future. And got to talk about the offense first, which was a struggle in 2017. They did average 28 points per game, but that was – about eight points worse than what they did per game in 2016. But you do get almost everybody back. Ross Bowers, we'll see if he has continued to develop for this Golden Bear offense. And he did throw for over uh, three grand in 2017, 18 touchdowns. But he did throw a lot of picks, 12 interceptions, and completed only 59% of his passes. And he'll be hard-pressed to keep his job because Brandon McElwain from South Carolina, well, he'll be challenging for that QB position. The running game last year didn't do a whole heck of a lot. They averaged um, just 125 yards per game. But the main guy that they had is back, and Patrick Laird, who did gain over 1,100 yards last season, had eight touchdowns and about six yards per carry, but really not much depth after that. Uh, Laird was also productive as far as receiving 45 catches a year ago and over 300 yards. And receiving was the strength for this Cal team that returns nearly everybody as far as the wideouts go. You have Vic Wharton back, 67 receptions and almost 900 yards, and he'll also be the team's leading punt returner. The entire offensive line comes back, but they have to do a better job of protecting the quarterback. This was a weak area, but again, you get everybody back, including several seniors. One of them is the left tackle in uh, Patrick uh, Bakari and at center, Addison Ooms. Now looking at the defense, and this is where the Golden Bears made strides in 2017. Now the year before, before Justin Wilcox arrived, uh, this defense gave up a lot of points per game, 42. But last year, a big-time improvement, giving up just 28 points per contest. So Wilcox, along with um, the defensive coordinator, Tim DeRuiter, yeah, um, they are to be commended for a fine job last year with this Cal defense. I would say a weakness this year, though, for Cal is going to be rush defense, which they were good at last year. But two of the three full-time starters are gone, with only Luke Baquette returning at defensive end. He's a junior. Linebacker, they're going to be rich in this area, including Jordan Kanatsky, who did not play, by the way, all of last season. But uh, when he was in there, very productive, 74 tackles, including three and a half sacks. So Kanatsky last year played eight full games out of the 12. The outside linebackers are also back in Cameron Good, who started last year as a freshman, and Alex Bunches, who had four sacks, now entering his senior year, occupying the other outside LB. All the secondary returns, but they've got to do a better job. And you do get both corners back who started last year as freshmen, Elijah Hicks and Cam Bynum. And riding out the Golden Bear uh, secondary, both safeties are back in Ashton Davis as well as um, Jalen Hawkins, both juniors. Highlighting the Golden Bear schedule, I think it's pretty favorable, especially the non-conference part. No reason why they can't go 3-0 with two of those games at home, including the season opener against Larry Fedora's Tar Heels. They get a bye week before the Pac-12 opener. And by the way, if you see the schedule, you'll notice that the top three teams in the North Division, Cal gets them all at home, including Oregon in late September. There are some difficult road games, though, but those appear to be from the south with USC and Arizona away from Berkeley. But this schedule, I think it's very, very favorable. A shot for Cal, perhaps, to have a winning record and get to a bowl game. I've got Cal finish fourth in this division. I don't think they're going to be the best team in the Pac-12, but I do think they will be the most improved. That's my look at the Golden Bears. See you next time.